lot of people stay in cults when they know the truth and you know they know the truth maybe they've whispered it to you behind closed doors maybe you can just look in their eyes and see the panic and the fear um, but whatever it is you know that they know and yet they still stay what would possess a human being to be part of a group that they know in their heart is abusive is evil it's wrong it's harming people it's controlling and all of those things why would they stay and so far for my observations because I spent a lot of time um, wringing my hands over this issue because I knew people who when I left the cult I was a part of there were a lot of people who knew that it was completely corrupt but they still stayed and the main reason I've I've concluded is fear a lot of them just would rather be somewhere um, where they're accepted because you gotta remember too that most people will choose um, a comfortable hell over an unknown heaven in other words familiarity and comfortability you, you stay with what you know and people no matter how bad what you know is They'd rather stay with it because they know it versus going into the unknown and not knowing. And this is a powerful phenomenon among human beings. And so many people I saw, they, they, they knew it was a cult. Now they would never use, use the word cult. They would not admit it, but they knew. Yet they still stayed because it's all they knew. And depending on the individual, some of them had a lot to lose. One guy I knew was some sort of tax preparer. So major the majority of the members of the church were his customer base. And for him to leave, it just was not convenient or in his best interest money-wise. And so that's why he stayed. Another person stayed, um, and this I couldn't imagine because we were supposedly best friends at that time. And she saw all the corruption and she knew the leaders of our church were, uh, were really, uh, bad people. Um, and she still said well I don't care I still I still hold my allegiance to them they're still my leaders and I follow them a hundred percent you know and I I was baffled by that because you know you think that people would see things for what they are and, and be appalled and go oh my god I can't believe I was a part of this but that's not what happens. And you really see the dark side of human nature when you're part of a cult. Um, because you, you, you see people face to face with pure evil and they say, well, I choose the evil. And it, 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 it's the, nothing's more uglier than that to me. And after that experience in the cult, I saw the world differently because I, I had a new understanding for people and, and what really mattered to people. You know, when you're young, you're so idealistic, you know, you have this idea that people really want the truth. But when you're in the cult, you realize they don't want the truth because when they find out the truth about what they're a part of, they totally they get angry they get defensive and I had people completely cut me out of their lives because of the truth because they'd rather a lie 
than to live in truth, even though that's what the whole ideology of being um, a Christian, because I was a part of a Christian cult. It was a Bible based cult, supposedly following the Bible more than any other group of people on the planet. And you, you just see it's all a big lie at the end of the day. And I'm not saying this to be, to be down on human humanity. And, you know, I don't have a half glass empty view of humanity, although it may sound that way. I just see things for what they are. It's not a happy or a sad thing, but you know, I'm into being realistic because in a cult, you just spend so much time being magical and uh, having this magical thinking that you, you, you lose touch with reality. And the reality is people want lies. And the thing about a cult is so amazing to me is that it'd be one thing if the cult treated you well and they gave you everything you wanted and they loved you and cherished you and did all the things that, you know, show love towards you and, and benefited your best interest. But it doesn't. I watch people who were abused, spiritually abused, emotionally abused, psychologically abused by this cult, by the leaders in this cult, by fellow members of the cult. And they still defended it they will choose not only a lie but they will choose a lie that doesn't benefit them i can even understand to some degree if the lie benefited you if it did something for you like the guy i just talked about who had all of his uh his customer base in the church i can understand as a business person why he's staying this giving him some benefits but a lot of the people, there were no benefits. The cult did nothing but take, take, take. It took their money. It took their, their, um, the opportunities away. Um, it controlled every aspect of their lives and, and it limited them in so many ways. And yet people still said, no, I have my allegiance to the leaders of this church, to the leaders, um, of the, the cult worldwide to the leaders of, to this ideology i'm committed i'm committed and i will stand for this cult against any any body i don't care how close we are i choose that over you and that blows my mind that people will choose not only a lie but an uncomfortable lie a hurtful lie a lie that hurts them i mean it's like being in an abusive relationship and the person is beating the crap out of you. They're stealing your money. Uh, they're lying to you, cheating on you. They're doing everything under the sun to you and you still defend them. And yet that's the way it is. So I wouldn't argue with people about the cult. You know, if you're having questions and you're, you're, you're exiting, you know, the cult, you are deprogramming. That's why I always say, and you could check out my other videos on this. You have to go your separate ways from people who were part of the church or the cult because they really don't get it. You know, they don't really, they don't really see that for whatever reason in their mind, being part of a cult, being part of something that's corrupt is better than not being part of it. And uh, there's many re way, reasons, secondary reasons why that is. Some people, I mean, it's all they know. They've raised their children in it. Um, you know, all of their friends are there, quote unquote friends actually, but that's for another video, which I've done. But your so-called friends are in it and People don't understand that your entire reality is shaped by this group. So when you're part of a cult, it shapes your entire world. It's like you're living in this, this, this bubble and, and all your relationships and 
all of the social constructs of your life, um, everything, every facet of your life is configured into the, into the cult. So, um, we're removing the cult is very, very scary because people, you know, are like, what am I going to do now? And the truth is you do free fall when you leave. When you leave, there is definitely um, white noise for a while. Things kind of spin out of control off its axis. And uh, it, it's it's not for the faint of heart. I'll tell you that much. But if you're watching this channel, you're one of the brave people that are willing to, to take that journey to freedom. So... Um, I definitely applaud you and support you and uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you next video. Peace.